As climate change and growth threaten Colorado's water supply, the state has approved one of the largest water infrastructure projects in its history, the Chimney Hollow Reservoir. With a staggering capacity exceeding 136,000 Olympic pools, this engineering marvel symbolizes Colorado's commitment to water security in an uncertain future. Colorado has faced 17 drought years in just the last two decades alone. To compound the situation, scientists predict a reduction of over 30% in Colorado River flows by 2050 due to climate change. As the lifeblood of the West faces this unprecedented strain, the race to shore up future water needs has taken on new urgency. The ambitious Chimney Hollow Reservoir project promises to be a pivotal piece in securing Colorado's water future. One of the largest undertakings in the state's history, this reservoir has involved half a billion dollars in investment and over a decade of planning thus far, and construction is just getting started. We uncover the epic tale behind what will soon become one of the most important water infrastructure projects in Colorado's history. Over 80% of Colorado's precipitation falls on the western slope, yet 80% of the state's population resides east of the Continental Divide. For well over a century, Colorado has relied on an intricate system of water tunnels, pumps, and trans-mountain diversions to direct water to the Front Range region. But with supplies declining and demand intensifying due to population growth, the fragility of the region's water future has come into sharp focus. Scientists estimate that by 2050, human-caused climate change could shrink the Colorado River's flow by more than 30%. The river basin is already grappling with demand exceeding supply for the first time in modern history. With the Front Range facing an estimated 30% population growth in the coming decades, the disconnect between Colorado's water-rich west and thirsty east only threatens to deepen without bold action. Staving off the stark scenarios scientists illustrate requires long-term planning focused on storage, efficiency, and conservation. Chimney Hollow stands at the forefront of this new wave of projects prioritizing water security, an insurance plan providing front-range communities with a reservoir of water to weather hotter and drier times ahead. The origins of the Chimney Hollow Reservoir date back to the early 2000s, when planners assessed growing supply vulnerabilities and searched for storage options. By 2010, 90,000 acre-feet of storage and collaboration between 12 water stakeholders emerged as key solutions, with Chimney Hollow as the ideal location. Now, after years of planning, over $500 million in investment, and partnerships between local companies like Seward and Barnard Construction, the Chimney Hollow project is full steam ahead. Crews have cracked ground on a reservoir that dwarfs Denver's massive Cherry Creek Dam by over 50%. Once completed, Chimney Hollow Reservoir's storage capacity will exceed 90,000 acre feet, making it one of the largest in all of Northern Colorado. Its 43-story tall dam earns the accolade of being the tallest built in the country in over 25 years. All this infrastructure serves a vital purpose, capturing and storing water brought from the western slope's abundant supply to provide for over half a million northern Front Range residents. But a reservoir requires far more than a hole to fill with water. Tunnels to transport the precious cargo, state-of-the-art dams to contain it, vast recreation areas to enjoy it. The efforts behind constructing Chimney Hollow are truly staggering in scale and innovation alike. At full supply capacity, the Chimney Hollow Reservoir could submerge over 700 football fields in 30 stories of water. Achieving such scale requires infrastructure commensurate with the task. Crews are undertaking truly staggering feats of construction to erect one of Colorado's largest reservoirs, including one of America's tallest dams in over 25 years, soaring 43 stories tall and measuring over one mile long. Enough excavated earth to pile halfway up Pikes Peak, over 3.1 million cubic yards moved. Processing 4 million tons of aggregate, enough to build over 130,000 homes, making Chimney Hollow Colorado's largest rock fill mine. 
pouring enough concrete to lay a sidewalk from Denver to Vail, over 390 million pounds, placed every two minutes for 2.5 years straight. Chimney Hollow's main dam pioneers an innovative asphalt core design never implemented on this scale in the US. This cutting-edge technique, backed by Seward Engineering's expertise, minimizes seepage by using impervious asphalt in place of a traditional clay core. Combined with Barnard Construction's prowess in mass excavation and aggregate processing, the project showcases how innovation and scale unite to create the infrastructure of the future. Beyond its main barrier, other major infrastructure hurdles are overcome using advanced techniques. An elevated saddle dam composed of roller-compacted concrete withstands pressure, despite the highly fractured bedrock below. The inlet-outlet reinforced tunnel carved through the bedrock uses a complex, curved design to withstand tremendous pressure spikes. Spillway tunnels route overflow through the left dam abutment. The sheer complexity of infrastructure and feats of engineering required are a window into the mammoth efforts behind constructing western water megaprojects. To grasp Chimney Hollow's importance, we must revisit an earlier 20th century marvel, the Colorado Big Thompson Project. Conceived during the Great Depression and later finished by the Bureau of Reclamation in 1957, this intricate water diversion network has been dubbed the greatest water project in history. The CBT project demonstrates the legacy of Trans Mountain Diversions in Colorado, transporting water from the Colorado River Basin on the western slope over the Continental Divide to the Front Range. This complex system of 12 reservoirs, 23 pumps, 60 hydroelectric power plants, and 6 tunnels under the Continental Divide allows Front Range cities and over 615,000 irrigated acres to flourish. The Chimney Hollow Reservoir will store and supply water originating from CBT's vast western slope network to communities across the northern Front Range. In essence, it is the latest milestone in the over 150-year history of shuttling water from Colorado's western high country, where the precipitation falls to the populous urban centers on the east side of the divide that demand it. Expanding storage capacity through projects like Chimney Hollow buys Colorado time as it grapples with climate change, throttling the flows on which these Trans Mountain diversions rely. A project of Chimney Hollow's epic scale inevitably invites criticism and environmental concerns. As developers prepare to break ground, conservation groups have voiced worries over potential widespread impacts on ecosystems, habitats, and wildlife. Central worries stem from the reservoir's disruption of the landscape and location along the Colorado River headwaters. Groups like Save the Colorado argue that inundating hundreds of acres of land to store western slope water could lead to loss of biodiversity, vegetation, displacement of species, and fragmentation of habitats. They also fear impacts downstream. Reducing the Colorado River's flow could deteriorate conditions for ecosystems and communities reliant on its waters. In response, project developers at Northern Water have prepared mitigation solutions, including environmental pools to support fish and wildlife, acquiring land and resources to offset habitat damage, and implementing other conservation efforts. However, some environmentalists doubt these containment solutions will fully make up for altering such a vast landscape. Beyond ecosystems, sustainability advocates propose prioritizing water conservation efforts and efficiency instead of supply infrastructure. Grassroots initiator Save the Colorado believes more urban conservation initiatives combined with sustainable agriculture water sharing could render costly diversion projects unnecessary. While developers counter that conservation alone cannot meet population growth needs, the project has polarized views on finding balance between human demands on natural systems, forcing Coloradans to examine our complex relationship with water. Beyond pipes, pumps, and concrete, Chimney Hollow aims to enhance the landscape and serve surrounding communities once completed. Along with its main purpose of water storage, the project promises over 3,000 acres of recreation opportunities, like hiking, fishing, boating, and more, most of which are provided at Barnard Reservoir.
as Northern Water's largest recreation initiative ever. Barnard Reservoir's facilities will include a swim beach, boat ramps, camping facilities, trails, and more to enjoy human-powered and motorized recreation. Developers also highlight community benefits like preserving open spaces, improving river health protections, and investing $2.7 million in Larimer County parks and open spaces. The project also strikes an ambitious balance between storing water and stewarding ecosystems. The reservoir integrates an environmental pool supplying 3,000 acre-feet reserved specifically for enhancing steam flows and wildlife habitat. Another key aspect involves work by ecologists and biologists, who conducted over 70 studies focusing on fish, birds, mammals, wetlands, plant life, and aquatic health. Their recommendations help minimize disruptions to Colorado's diverse flora and fauna. As Colorado's population swells, balancing increasing human demands with responsible stewardship of its natural gifts remains an ever-present struggle. However, projects like Chimney Hollow illustrate that even gargantuan infrastructure development can coexist with conservation efforts when such environmental considerations are built into their design. The reservoir stands as one vision of this possibility, securing community water needs for the future while serving nature today. Upon completion in 2025, the half-billion Chimney Hollow Reservoir will be a shining vision of the future of water management. This innovative and environmentally conscious engineering landmark promises to sustain Northern Colorado communities for decades while serving nature and people alike. It stands as a testament to what collaboration and human ingenuity can achieve. Will this reservoir live up to its lofty goals? Share your views in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more impossible engineering stories.